Well, when you audition uh, for a voiceover role, what would you say that casting people, you know, look for, listen for? Uh, is, does it depend on, you know, uh, the accent or how you are, you know, actually playing the character? What would you say is important in a, well, in a voiceover audition? I would say absolutely what I just started to go into a little bit. They listen for the truth. You know, even though you're playing a character or an animal or an inanimate object, everybody has an attitude or a belief or a desire or a will, and they're listening for the truth. Um, And, um, you know, it's really... It's really you kind of taking yourself out of it a little bit and say, okay, this character is supposed to be sad. And you ask yourself, when was the last time I was sad? Oh, okay, I remember. And it's funny because the body does an amazing thing. If you think about something um, that uh, conjures up or recalls an emotion, your body kind of goes with it and kind of goes there. So you're ready to be you're genuinely sad when you open your mouth to be sad as that character. And then of course, you know, through trial and error, you kind of learn as far as voice placement goes, okay, this is a six year old, or this is a teenager, or this is a, you know, an 80 year old. And you, you kind of know where your voice placement is, but bottom line is telling the truth of that character, not, seeing, picking up a piece of copy and going, oh, I'm supposed to be a frog. What does a frog sound like? Or I'm supposed to be six years old. What does a six-year-old sound like? No, you read the copy and find out what is going on with that character, what they're feeling, what their truth is, what their attitude is, and do that first, and then open your mouth and see what comes out. We sound so knowledgeable and such great advice. Have you ever taught classes with voiceover? Yes, um, I was lucky enough that um, Harvey and Kathy Kalmanson, uh, I used to audition over there a lot. And in fact, um, Harvey pulled me aside one day and asked me if I would like to booth direct. And it was quite the honor because he had never allowed anyone but himself to booth direct auditions for clients. And um, basically, I said, let me think about it. I did, and I said, okay. And so I booth directed um, for them for, I think, three years. And during that time, they asked me if I would be interested in teaching. And um, I ended up teaching for them almost 10 years. And um, I helped recreate uh, their animation course and taught that for the last couple of years that I was there teaching. Um, But I taught everything from um, foundations, which is which I loved because that was people that were told, oh, you have a great voice. You should do radio or TV or, you know, uh, whatever. And these were doctors and lawyers and nurses and plumbers and electricians and, you know, people from all walks of life who knew nothing about the voiceover industry. So it was such a delight to um, help guide them and and work with them to figure out if that's what they wanted to uh, to try to make a career out of or a part-time career. And then um, there was the beginning acting, which is people who've never done voiceover before but had been training. And then there was the level two, and then there was like demo prep, which was helping people find copy to um, – make their voiceover demos uh, so they could try to get jobs or get an agent. And and then finally the uh, animation course. And so I loved it all. I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, But at a certain point it was time to, uh, to move on. So. So you have any, um, (laughs) right, right. So do you have any uh, projects coming up now that you can tell us about with acting or or voiceover? Well, I have I have several things that I have done on the, um, I have been told, you know, you have to sign these um, non-disclosure agreements saying that you won't talk about it until it comes mm. out. So I have three or four of those that I've done. Mm, I wonder mm-hmm. what that could be. Um, and um, uh, I have several heart projects 
that I am trying to produce and uh, get off the ground. Um, both in uh, film, the film arena, as well as reality television. And, um, gosh, I don't know. I mean, I'm just so excited about this time in my life, and I'm looking to get back on camera um, in different ways. Like I, like we had mentioned, I, I'd love to go back to the soap, um, but I also want to do other projects and other things. And... Um, this past year, I directed my first uh, short film, which was accepted into several film festivals. So that was quite delightful um, to be acknowledged in a in a in a, a director's debut, I guess, as you would say. Um, so yeah, I'm just having fun and um, you know looking at the world being my oyster right now and and seeing what comes along. Um, I guess one of the things that I, I would say about myself is that I have never been strictly goal-oriented because I always felt that would be people are putting blinders on and just focusing on one thing and, and not seeing other opportunities that might come come up along the way. And so I've just always kind of followed my gut, my intuition, my heart, and um, I think it has you know, led me to some incredible journeys, and I'm looking forward to all the ones to come. So that was a wonderful chat with Felice Sampler. Uh, Since we did this interview, uh, great news has come out that Days of Our Lives has indeed been picked up for another year. So let's do that campaign, get Felice back on the show as Renee DeMira. Uh, Please like my Facebook page at Outtakes and Blog Talk Radio. Follow me on Twitter at Laurie's Outtakes. And until next time. Record better audio anywhere with Motive Digital Microphones from Shure. Easy-to-use options like the MV88 plug directly into your phone or computer and include a free app. Create studio-quality sound for podcasts, music, and videos. Visit Shure.com to learn more. When you don't go to Geico.com, car insurance can be confusing. Like Swedish techno confusing. Bark, bark, meow, meow. Dance with me, purple cow. Bark, bark, meow, meow. Ooh, you lovely cow. Geico makes it easy. With 24-7 access, all you have to do is go to geico.com and you can save money on car insurance. It just makes sense. Unlike, you know. Dance with me, purple cow. I like your mood.